Okay, so last week Apple released the new update of iOS 16, which was version 16.1.1. It was a minor update. So as usual, after the update, I started testing the device, and there are few bugs which I encountered. So we'll talk about those bugs and other things related to this update in this video. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my iPhone 13. First of all, let me show you the software information. If we go to Settings, General, About section. Here you can see it says iOS version is 16.1.1 which is the stable build for general public. For beta users we do have 16.2 and I think there were no changes done in the modem firmware. I forgot to take a screenshot on the previous build. And guys before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. We still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. As I told you guys this was a very minor update and size also you can see for iPhone 13 is 296 MB. Basically nothing new added with this update. Some minor bug fixes have been done which also include two security updates along with SK Ad Network bug. But after I started using this device I did notice few issues which we'll talk about them in this video and we'll also talk about the battery backup and the camera performance. So I have photos clicked after this update along with the screen on time which I got after 16.1.1. So the first issue is related to the alarm clock and this bug was already there on the previous build. I had seen many users complaining about it. So here you can see on the lock screen it says alarm off but if I tap here you can see I have set my alarm to all days. So this is one thing which I found out after updating to 16.1.1. I tried setting different lock screen still it's the same case. Here you can see it says alarm is off but as I showed you guys alarm is set for every day. Few users also reported some issues related to the wallpaper bug. So I personally did not find out any kind of issues related to wallpapers. But if you guys still face any kind of issues, do let me know in the comment section below and also let me know exactly what issue you are facing with the wallpaper. And the next issue is related to keyboard. It's not happening right now, but after installing the build, it was continuously happening. Towards the left hand side, you can see that video recording was done when I encountered this bug. And this mostly happened with YT studio application. So wherein Whenever I tried to open the keyboard or you can say reply to the comment, the initial pop-up had the pitch dark theme and after that it used to switch to grey color. As I told you right now it's not happening but this was the issue which I have faced and after restarting the device it got fixed. Another major issue which I encountered and that's related to the Wi-Fi bug. I have heard that Wi-Fi bug have been taken care with this newer build but I still face issues. Most of the time if I open up any application it just shows loading and that only happens if I am using Wi-Fi. Right now I am not using Wi-Fi because there are some issues with my Wi-Fi connection which is not working. With mobile data I never face any kind of issues but with Wi-Fi you can see the screenshots or the pictures which I have clicked. The pages used to completely stuck. To fix that I had to always restart the device. On my device I can confirm it isn't a temporary bug. So these are some of the minor issues which I have encountered while using my iPhone 13 running iOS 16.1.1. Other than that with no doubt battery backup have improved a lot. Here you can see the first screen on time which I got after updating the device to newer build. We are in 5 hours and 58 minutes of screen on time. Pretty good for me as per my usage. But you can still see the device was draining bit extra battery overnight. Here is the second screen on time wherein I got almost 7 hours of screen on time during my usage. And all these battery backups are without gaming with my normal usage. But after this update I've also found device warms up a bit more compared to the previous build. And that usually happens while charging the device or continuously using it. So few users have also reported some issues related to the camera quality after this update. So as you all know we have iPhone 13 which has two camera both 12 megapixel wide lens and ultra wide. Some people have reported that iOS 16 the camera processing is slightly mediocre. Now let's look at some of the main camera samples. The main camera clicks very good details in broad daylight but it's only 12 megapixel sensor. We will always feel it could have been bit sharp when we zoom in. Especially when we see in some samples near the tree especially there is smoothening going on. When it comes to color we did not use any photographic style when shooting in natural mode the colors are typical iPhone processing with contrast and has certain moods to it. Dynamic range is the biggest weakness of iPhone. It's not that bad to be honest but when the HDR is not processed properly it's terrible. We can clearly see in this sample the tree is totally dark the HDR did not even work here. 
Now let's take a look at some of the ultra wide shots. Here the color consistency between main and ultra wide is so perfect and also there is no detail loss at all in the edges which we typically see in ultra wide shots. I have no complaints with ultra wide camera it's good enough and more than usable. In selfies the skin tones are processed very well the details are also adequate but as expected the HDR in the background is so bad. The highlight in the backgrounds are blown away so it's the same story in HDR processing iPhone sometimes struggles and it's irritating. Other than that, camera is doing well. And now at last, let's talk about the performance part. So here are the results of benchmark testing before and after updating the device where I did not see any kind of major improvements. Both the benchmarks are almost same and it was a minor update. So don't expect much of performance upgrade. And if you ask me whether to update your device to 16.1.1, then basically it's a good to go OS. But as I told you guys, there are some issues which are layered to Wi-Fi and those are a bit irritating during the usage. So keep these bugs which I have mentioned in the mind before updating your device. So guys, this was a quick review on latest build of iOS 16.1.1 for iPhones. If you have any kind of questions, then you guys can let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys are going to like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. And also, if you are new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.